most people don't have that and it's very inexpensive it's just an, another uh plug-in for wordpress okay uh now people always ask me well how do you monetize these things and the typical you know i, I mentioned there's a million podcasts out there there's 500,000 active ones on iTunes, I think. And probably a lot of those just technically active aren't really active. Maybe they do one every couple weeks or, and then they just blow off the summer. And, you know, so a lot of them aren't fully uh, committed like I am. The typical model to monetize your podcast is pitiful to me. See, the numbers say that for a sponsor for your podcast will pay somewhere between 12 and $18, sometimes as high as $25 per 1,000 downloads. Well, guess what, folks? It's not easy to get 1,000 downloads on an episode right off the bat, all right? It can be done, but I never, I didn't do it, that's for sure. And to me, that's just peanuts, uh, you know, and it's ridiculous. Uh, from the, my perspective, because if you could just create your own product, or even if you don't have a product, you could do an affiliate product. And that's, you know, like I said earlier in this episode, I want you to be my affiliate. So just let's just take the lowest end possible. Let's say you promoted one of my ebooks as $27, and you get $13.50 for it. You might only have 50 listeners and could easily sell one ebook, but that's a long haul from getting a thousand downloads and to try to get your $13 in sponsorship fees. And then you'd have to go find the sponsor and, and all that. See, and then how long would they stick with you if you weren't getting your, the number of downloads that they were looking for? See, so, so Affiliate stuff is a way to start if you don't have any products, but the way I monetize, I mean, any one episode that I do 